there. It was, uh, uh, it was evident in the way that we played. We shared the ball. We did some good things. I mean, without question, it's one of the better games that we played. We shared the ball. We shot the ball extremely well. When you shoot the ball well, you look, you look good. But I think sharing the ball was the big thing. And then defensively playing with energy. This time we'll open for questions for the student athletes only. Any questions? Go ahead. Guys, this is your first year, obviously, in the Sun Belt. What have you seen in this conference competition wise, and then now being in the tournament? Is that any different? And moving forward into the next game, how do you kind of prepare to face the competition that will keep going? Uh, coming out of the Big South, you know, uh, it's a challenge for us to come out here and be ready to play every game, but we know every night we got to come to play. It's like, it's no games off. And, we just prepare the best we can compare, uh, prepare and just come out, you know, play with energy like Coach said and just follow the game plan. Elijah, anything to add to that? Uh, I'm just going to pick it back what he said. Uh, it's different in the Big South. Um, just every team in this conference is good and you got to bring it every night. And if you don't, then uh, things won't go in your favor. And I think we did a good job of that tonight. Hopefully we can continue to keep it going. Elijah, you were four from eight from behind the arc. The team was 11 of 16. Was that the three-point shooting something this team worked on this week, or was it just one of those nights where everything was falling for them? Uh, we we stick to the same game plan we've been doing. That, um, that's our part of our strategy strategy throughout the whole season, and um, we have a lot of good shooters on the team. And it was just one of those nights that it was luck. It played in our favor for everything to fall like we wanted to. Any further questions? We're good with the student athletes. If you guys want to make your way back to the locker room, I will, I'd like to add one oh, thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, just members of the media, Elijah Wilson went over the 1,800 career points. Tonight, it was his. Uh, he's only the third player to do that uh, at uh, Coastal Carolina, and the Shana Clears shot 69 percent on the threes tonight, which is a new Sun Belt Conference tournament record. The old record was 63. Thank you very much. If you guys want to head to the locker room, we'll go, go ahead for uh, questions for the coach. Whitney. Well, when I left it, it was very strong. Uh, a lot of new faces. I think Georgia State uh, is the only team that when I left it was a Sun Belt member, uh, one of the original members anyway. But top to bottom, what I've seen is that anybody can beat you on a given night. There's so many teams in our league that could win, and I know this as a fact, uh, having been there. There's so many teams in our, in our league. There's eight teams that could win a game in the NCAA tournament. I mean, there's eight teams that legitimately could go in the NCAA tournament and win a game. There's not a team in this league that can't beat you. There's not, you can't go out and play a bad game. If you do, you're going to get beat. I think that's why you saw the log jam. With the exception of Arlington, they separated themselves. They were the best team. They should go to the NCAA tournament. Whether they win, whether, if they didn't win this tournament, they should go to the NCAA tournament. Now, they deserve because the league's that good. Uh, if we don't get that in, it's just a shame. If our RPI is 12th or 13th as a league, we should get more than one team. <coughs> now, whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. But what I've seen is the way that I left it 30 something years ago, top to bottom, it's really good. <coughs> and one more question. <laughs> How do you not look past them in any sort of way? Well, you can't look. You got to you got to stay in the moment. Hervey is just an absolute fantastic player, but there's so many pieces to go with him. You got Neil. You got uh, uh, the big kid. Uh, yeah, and then the the guard. There's so many good players, and and they've done a great job coaching this team. I mean, they're just very talented. You don't go to St. Mary's, who's 11th in the country, and, and win by double digits. You don't go to Texas and win by double digits and not be good. I mean, they're just good. Well, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, Cliff Ellis and uh, you know his team. I thought they, um, you know, they were outstanding today. Uh, they, they shot the ball at an extremely high level from the three-point line. And I'm not sure I've ever seen a, a stat quite as skewed as 25 assists on 29 field goals. That's, uh, 
absolutely remarkable. But uh, you know, I wish them, you know, the best of luck moving forward. They they were they were great today. They did a great job. But uh, you know, as for uh, you know my team, um, you know, certainly I thought we came out the first 12 minutes. I thought we did some really good things. Uh, we were up 27-21, and we started to press a little bit. We missed some shots inside, and we allowed our inability to score um, to affect our transition defense. And uh, Coastal kept coming, kept coming, and you know made threes. And, and we really dug ourselves a hole that uh, we just really never recovered from. And uh, you know it's certainly you know a disappointing way to end your season. But uh, you know really proud of the the senior guys. They they've had a good run, and uh, you know we'll certainly miss them. Questions for coach? You mentioned obviously that at the ha like the second half you really had that hole to dig out of and you couldn't quite get it. But what did you tell your team at halftime to kind of get that motivation back in there? Because in the second half you did, you know, it was 35 points to just 36. Yeah, well, the one thing we, we wanted to play at a possession at a time. There was no there's no magic shot at the Globetrotters aren't out there and there's no magic four point five point shot. So we wanted to chip away at, at each media and you know it was very similar to. Our game with Arkansas State on Saturday, we were down uh, 12 points in the second half, and we really set a goal that e at each media we wanted to chip into it four or five points and and claw back in the game. But uh, you know, when when they're making threes at the rate they were and, and, and getting out in transition, they made it very difficult. And when you look back at this season, just kind of you know, what have you thought about your team and especially the senior class? You go through this process every yeah, year, but talk about and, them. And I think as a whole, we're certainly disappointed with how the year played out. We we felt like um, uh, we we could have had a better season. Uh, we started with a lot of promise, and you know, when I left, uh, the seniors were talking about um, you know just the memories that you had this year. We we took a wonderful trip uh, this summer um, over to Europe, and uh, you know. Those memories, uh, nobody can take them away from you. Um, you know, the season didn't end the way we want, but you know, those memories and, and those moments that you shared together as a, you know, players and coaches and, and, and staff, um, you know, that's something we'll talk about, you know, eight, 10, 20 years from now. So, um, you know, I wish them the best of luck, you know, moving forward. And, uh, you know, certainly, you know, to the young guys, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we need to um, get back to, um, competing at the top of the league, and uh, you know that that starts tomorrow. You know, from my standpoint. One more. And then, j just as you just mentioned, you know, this league continues to be on the rise. So, how do you Brutal. how do you turn around and you know, like you said, start tomorrow and just kind of you know, what's the what do you see with this league and the potential that the Sun Belt has? Well, I think the the league is absolutely, without question, the best it's ever been. Uh, from the players that are in the league, the coaching that's in the league. Uh, from you know team one to team 12 uh, it's an absolutely loaded league and you've got to be able to play night in and night out and you know one of the things that, that we've got to do as a staff is really uh, sit down and analyze where we are in the league what what steps we need to take to get back to being uh, competitive at the top of the league and it, it's not going to be easy uh, but at the same time that that's our job and that's what we're going to do